Easter stakes, El Shabiba and Wood Magic sharing favoritism at 11 to 4 on 7 to 2 Line Dancer and then a break to Believe Me at 9 to 1 from 8 on 10s is Regiment. And Gothenburg and Centre Stores and Dankerston all at 12 to 1, Henry V at 14 to 1 and Bull Finch the 16 to 1 outsider. Well we just saw front Believe Me or Bull Finch because they've met three times and Believe Me has come out on top. Uh, every time, but only by a neck the last time they met. Not much between those two. Now, another one in the race from the Clive Britton Yard is Henry the that I was talking about. But Regiment is the other Richard Hannon runner. This is the one Richard said obviously has a very good turn of foot, provided he will stay the trip. Ridden by Richard Quinn and did nothing wrong last year. Won well first time and then was second to the good horse Honest Guest, giving him five pounds at Sandown in the conditions race, so that's no mean feat. Now to revert to Henry V. El Shabiba at three to one has been on the drift. Out also is line dancer to nine to two was three to one. Money for regiment from ten to one to eight to one on nines believe me. Twelves then Gothenburg, Centre Stools and Dankerston on fourteens Henry V. Bullfinch at sixteen to one still. There's Bullfinch, as I told you, he's got three bits of form, believe me, and believe me, as a matter of fact, was beaten by Henry V when that horse won at Newbury, but uh, very close between those three. Centre stalls looked well in the paddock. Um, he was uh, eighth of nine in the Horace Hill Stakes at Newbury. That doesn't sound good, but he was only beaten about four lengths off Tumblewood Ridge. There's Gothenburg going in and followed by believe me. Kick away, a little bit slow to stride with centre stalls, just uh, missed the kick, and also a regiment taken back in the early stages. And the early pace goes to Lion Dance of the Star Jacket on the inside of Dankerston. Out wide, we've got Believe Me, and Henry V tracking wide, a line of four. El Shibaba, so El Shabiba uh, goes through into fifth, and then we've got centre stalls in sixth. And Wood Magic has made the running in the past. Wood Magic with a nose band is uh, held up today. Regiment's on the outside of it, and Gothenburg the back marker. They go through the first quarter mile, and uh, with a striped cap, believe me, the check cap, the outside, Henry V, one and two. Black and yellow stars running the road is Line Dancer. Dankerston just uh, shades that. El Shabiba on the outside is uh, racing well. Then Bullfinch in midfield, and centre stalls just... Uh, had a peculiar stride there. Wood Magic is uh, down the pack, and Gothenburg is going to come to the back as they pass halfway. Regiment just being pushed along now as they start the turn for home, and it is Henry V that leads on the outside of Believe Me, these one and two. Yellow Sleeves, Dankerston, blue and white striped cop, cap on the outside, El Shabiba. The dark blue cap is Regiment, wide on the track is Bullfinch. Gothenburg's pulled for a run. Line dancers in behind them. Wood Magic is flat to the boards. Nowhere to go for centre stalls looking for room. They're bunching here as they flash past the two, and Henry V still just has it, El Shabiba. Here comes Regiment on the outside of Dankerston, still looking for room in the red cap centre stalls. Gothenburg on the wide outside, come down to the final furlong, and it's Regiment now that goes for home. Regiment swoops to conquer El Shabiba on the inside, Henry V, red cap centre stalls, He's staying on well as they race up towards the line. Regiment, here comes centre stalls, but up the post. It's Regiment, centre stalls, one and two. El Shabiba is in third. And then Henry V in four, Dankerston, line dancer. Uh, Wood Magic never got into it, neither did Gothenburg. Believe me, beat one. And that one was Bullfinch. And so, the result then of this Easter Stakes is a win for number nine, Regiment, in the colours of the High Clear Thoroughbred Racing Limited, ridden by Richard Quinn at nine to one in this uh, listed race. This fella does have an entry in the 2000 Guineas, and uh, Regiment, a son of Shardy, was uh, oh, a length of the good at the line. Unlucky for me was centre stalls. He seemed to lose his action halfway, and uh, then he started to pick up. Then he got no run. When he did see daylight, he flew off of John Reed. Trained by Fulk Johnson Horton, sent the stalls in the colours of Mr. Anthony Pygeri. That's the black and red finished second in this race. Third horse home is number six, El Shabiba. Willie Carson's uh, rides and John Dunlop trains this Dejo Colts, who also has an entry in the 2000 Guineas.
Well, there have been some very bad, unlucky runs in this race, notably Line Dancer. You see him there in the black jacket with stars. He's never had as much daylight as a mole at midnight, really, the whole through, throughout the race. Uh, Wood Magic has had very little chance either. But at this moment, uh, the, the, the lead is Henry V on the rails. It's Dankiston coming to challenge him, but on the outside, it's Richard Hannon's preferred regiment. He may have been sweating in the paddock a bit, but he comes past El Shabiba, and uh, there's another unlucky runner, I think, Centra Stalls, finishing fast now to take second place. Should certainly have been closer, but you can't take it away from regiment. No, and if Richard Hannon thinks his horses are a little bit behind and might be a race short, then I would think that puts him spot on for his chance in the Guineas. He got that mile here at Kempton perfectly well with a very sensible ride from Richard Quinn, saved enough in the tank to use that speed that Richard O'Hannon obviously knew he had in the last furlong. And I could just see he'll be there or thereabouts coming into the dip at Newmarket and provided his stamina lasts out up the hill. He's a horse with a very